Hello, everybody, and welcome on back to another episode of Hard Space Shipbreaker. Uh, I believe in my last episode, I might have gotten the numbers confused and everything. This is actually episode 15, if I'm not mistaken. And if I'm mistaken, Editor Chris, edit it and, and fix it and remind future Chris to fix these issues. But anyway... We are back with another episode, and uh, I hope you guys, gals, and pals are, are having great days, doing well, and uh, we're back out here breaking ships and, and doing things, and uh, we're working on this ship that we started up last time, uh, so we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. But yeah, I hope everybody is uh, doing well. We are now in the month of, I had to look for a second, April. Uh, we just started April a few days ago, and uh, things are things are going pretty good uh if you see me fiddling around with my headphones uh please bear with me i just got some new gauges and uh i was trying to put them in but um i recently just sized up slightly very very slightly um so my ears are a little bit sensitive right now especially because i was trying to put these new stone gauges in and uh boy oh boy my ears have not fully adjusted to the new size so uh they feel really itchy right now and it's really bothering me and i'm trying my best not to uh draw any attention what is this thing it's nothing but anyway um yeah it's april finally uh march just flew on by and is is gone and uh i'm ready for this new month i'm ready for for new things and challenges and stuff yep. and things <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let, let me know how everybody is doing uh, in the comments. Uh, as I always say, especially over on Twitch, always love to hear about everybody and how everything is going. Uh, last month went pretty well. I, I, I know we talked about some things and I'm probably going to be reiterating, but I wanted to get the recording for this episode done because got some busy stuff coming up and uh, I actually am going to be going on a, a little work trip next month. Um, and I just found out about it and I don't also don't think I have really a say because I'm still a little nervous with with traveling um, Especially with with COVID. I mean Obviously, yes, a lot of places have like opened up and everything but I am still very much nervous about traveling plus I also just got done uh, Well, not got done, but you know, we we moved last Two years ago now now it's two years ago uh, and I still feel like I haven't fully recovered from said move, um, which I think is why I'm a little hesitant on on traveling. But uh, yeah, my, my, my nine to five job, uh, I, I just found out the other day, is sending me and some of the other new team leads. I think we're going to Ohio, if I'm not mistaken, in May. Uh, and it's only going to... Oh, right. That's all one piece that is is done i don't know why the music got like so serious all of a sudden but yeah so we just found out that we're gonna be going on this trip and uh i'm like okay about it but at the same exact time i'm like mm, do i have to go <laughs> do i do i have to go but the answer is yes because it's 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 training specifically for us and the the, the new guys and the new position and everything so i i do have to go even though I'm a little hesitant on it, but you know, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. And you know what? It might actually be nice. I'm, I'm only gonna be gone for, I think like the second or third week for like a few days. So I'm gonna obviously not be able to stream. Uh, also, there is a possible chance that I might be meeting some people. Oh, uh oh, okay, okay. This whole cabin is now in a spiral. I don't know how to get these things out. Where are we going? Oh, spiral. Aha! I did it. Oh. Okay. You go over there. I should probably rip out this back part here to uh, to make my life a little bit easier. 
I forgot that those beams basically like broke. Oh, there's a thingy in there. Oh, you know what that was? That was just the panel. All right, let me get this part out. I'll go ahead and just pop this bad boy out and then we can just throw this in the, I think this goes down into the barge. Yep. Okay. But anyway, so yes, just found out about that. Um, I, I feel like a lot of these things are just popping up out of nowhere and like, that's okay but it throws me off and then I start panicking and spiraling and I'm just like, no one told me about this. Uh, it's such short notice. And I just, I just start to panic, but I honestly should be excited. And I, I am excited because I get to go not only meet my manager who I've never had a chance to meet face to face, but I also get to meet some of the other guys that I was working with, but now I don't work with them, but we're all going to this training together. It's really confusing. It's 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 very confusing, um, but yeah, I'm 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 pretty excited about going to Ohio. I've only been there like once, and it was literally because we were driving through the state. We were we were driving through the state, and um, we wanted to stop at some places when we were moving back from Nevada to Jer Jersey, and there were a few places that Story also wanted to visit too, especially in Ohio. I think there was I think it was Jungle Gyms. I think Jungle Gyms was one of the places. Yes, 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 yes. Oh! Ow. Caution. Helmet damage detected. Ow. Well, we got some funky tunes now. Owie, owie, owie. Wow, my suit is messed up. Owie. Okay, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to fix that. Thank you. Thank you for smacking your screen here. You know, I think we can take the hit on this pipe and everything in here. Let's just send this over to the furnace. Because uh, this is getting a little risque. We're just going to... We're not going to move? Well, then you know what they say. Cutter's life is for me. That's fine. That's okay. Okay. Now, this piece. Oh, no, we missed one support beam right there. Salvage destroyed. Please avoid damaging valuables. Can I not pull this out? No. Wow. That is just, uh,. That is just stuck together. Please send you over that way. I have to keep an eye on it because I don't want it to crash into those giant fuel tanks. Which now this is a big oversight. I probably I probably should have canceled the tether. I should probably clear some of these fuel tanks here and get them off before. Or I go ahead and do that because that's just going to be a big old explosion and we don't want that. And I think if I remember, we should be good just to cut these things. Okay. Is that all I needed to do? Yes. Yep. There's two cutting points on each of these. Nice enough, these things can just go straight down into the barge. So I shouldn't really have too much of a problem, but if I can get these guys off, easy peasy, and then I can then just have that ricochet down into the barge or into the furnace area. So let's try and see. Gunner, there's five minutes remaining in this ship. Get in while the getting's good. Aha. Uh -huh. I should be able just to do that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Cancel the tether. Ugh. Okay, yeah, they're kind of like tucked in there. Oh, perfect. Look at that. And then down we go. Down we go. There we go. All right. If I can get this other fuel barrel out of here, then we'll be fine. 
anyway uh but yeah so that's that's pretty exciting going to ohio for training getting to meet my my manager for the first time and everything so pretty excited about that so that's 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 what's been going um what else has been going on well uh i'm now officially into my first full month of the new job uh for some of you that may or may not know um i did receive a promotion back in february um and uh yeah you might be like wow you got it back in february yeah i got the promotion and title back in february but um as for actually doing the things that i would be doing in this new role that didn't start until like the end of this past month which i know you're probably like wow that's like a really long time to just have a title and you're absolutely right it was really weird um i was kind of in like a weird limbo p place with my nine to five uh, from that but uh then nicely enough out of the blue I, I i took off for like a nice extended weekend just to get some relaxation because we were getting told april 3rd was going to be like the new team's like start date and everything like that and got really excited and then i get back from this nice four-day weekend only to be hit with a Hey, by the way, uh, remember we told you that it was going to be April 3rd? Um, well, joke's on us. Uh, you're actually going to be starting later this week. Uh, and that was like, I want to say like two weeks ago. I, I, like I got back on like a Tuesday, was basically told this the day that I got back from my, my little, little vacay. And I was like, oh, cool, cool. Like this, this is fine. Nice suits fixed. Uh, let's get some fuel and we'll pick up some feathers as well. So I'm just going to work until the ship's over. Um, so yeah, so that was a little annoying. Hey, nice. I got a little sticker and I lost some credits, but you know what? It's marginal. It's marginal. There's, there's bound to be some... Bound to be some... Nice. That just go on out, please tell me. Nice, easy peasy. And then this whole frame is probably just gonna get like trashed. Except this piece in front of me. This piece is gonna have to go down to the barge, but that is a okay. Put that down to the barge. Can I? Can I? Thank you. But anyway, um, I digress. Um, even though it was very abrupt and a little chaotic and threw me for a loop and threw, threw a lot of us for, for loops because, you know, before this whole promotion thing happened, we were all just one team. Um, and now we get divvied up into four, four different teams, uh, with like a team lead and everything. So it was a little stressful for all of us. Um, you know, one of my buddies who I work with, actually, I used to work with him uh back in our best buy days and i actually helped him get this job uh where we work now uh shout out to you noah if you watch these bud love you uh but uh he unfortunately was not on my 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 new team which was kind of stinky and sad but um you know we still work together technically which is nice you know obviously we don't get to work directly with each other but you know we can still be buds at work Okay. Slow that down. Oh boy. You're a big boy. Let's get you to go that way. Away from the other tanks. I really hope. Oh god. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine down there. Nothing to worry about. Okay, oh, this little piece over here we can go ahead oh looks like we're about to get kicked out of our ship gonna go ahead and do this nice made it out of the barge hey goal three baby there we go hey that's pretty good that's pretty good i think we'll be able to finish this ship on on this at this episode Oh, nice. L rank level 12. Let's see if we get any uh, cool things happening with cutscenes. Power generator. You're now authorized to work on salvaging con uh, on salvage containing power generators. Power generators are connected to distribute breaker systems to manage flow and output. To salvage safely, remove fuses at each breaker, indicating lights on the breaker shown on the electrical current level fuses safest on the current 
and at zero current. Once all fuses have been removed, the power generator will be safe to extract. Ooh, we got a new thing. We got a new thing. All right. Got a bit of a surprise for you this morning, 52. Well, I think we should talk this through a bit more. Yeah, yeah, Joseph. Something you'll learn about being a manager, always be pushing your people. It's how they grow. Now, I see so much confidence on this crew. I think it's time to bump everyone up a hazard level. Hap, this is too soon. I really don't see eye to eye with you on this. Well, sometimes you need an outside perspective on things. All right, Joseph. Go ahead and train up 52 here when they're ready. Uh, sorry, Cutter. I'll help ease you into this. Just let me know when you're ready to start training. We were out. I, I had my mic muted. Did we? Did we just get a? Did we get a promotion? I think we got a promotion. I, I, like that. All right, well, we only have choices of finishing this ship and then or doing training. So we're going to finish this ship. Um, Continue salvaging. Yeah, let's go ahead and finish this guy out. Good morning, shipbreakers. I was thinking about all of you last night, and something came to mind. This is a quote from one of history's greatest managers, a fella named Jonathan Rockefeller. Good management consists of showing average people how to do the work of superior people. He got it. Weaver, that's a good one for you. Maybe write it down or something. Actually, I can just send it to you. Man, I the, the more that I heal, hear Hal talking, the more I'm like, not a good manager. <laughs> The more I just want to be like, dude, shut up. You suck at your job. You don't know what you're doing. You you corporate swine. Um not a good dude. Not not a not a good manager. Is all of, oh wait, this actually goes to the processor. How is this connected? Is this connected here? I didn't even notice this. I was going to send this all to the to the furnace, but if I got to cut these, get this piece. Interesting. Well, a major. Oh, actually, these rings go to the processor. They are connected. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, I hate that. Okay. We need our cutter. Okay. I mean, we were going to probably have to do that anyway. Because, I mean, that piece is just too too big. Uh, actually, no, I want to bring you over this way. Because I cleared the fuel tanks on this side and not the other side. But anyway, um, where was I? Oh, yeah. The job. The new position. The peeps. Um, my team's doing great. Uh, <laughs> um... Not to like brag or boast, but I'm like super proud of them. I, I honestly, I love my new teammates. Uh, please, you are going to get caught. Are you? No, you made it. Ah, oh, proud of you too. Proud of that piece and proud of my new team. Yeah, my new, te my new teammates are great. Um, I was really nervous, especially being like put in the spot of this new position and everything. And, you know, anybody gets nervous, whether it's like a promotion or, you know, new job or anything like that. So I felt like I felt like I was being reasonable, being being nervous. I felt like I was being reasonable, being nervous. And um honestly, they they are getting the hang of it. Um they're they they both don't live in New Jersey, so they don't live in my state. Um they uh they uh, they are working remote we're all in the same time zone which is nice so i'm glad that uh management found peeps that were in the same time zone not not saying anything against people not living in my time zone but it can be a little crazy working with others in different time zones it can get really really stressful and chaotic and you got to keep track of like what hours everybody is like on and everything um so we all work in the same time zone but they they are getting it and um you know, they're not afraid to ask questions. They're also not afraid to, uh, you know, 
take initiative on things. Um, and you know, they're, they're just, they're, they're both wholesome. They're both really, really wholesome. And, um, hold on, just slowly de-ringing this thing. Ugh, annoying. All right, this one's going to go off to the right once I get it off all the way. Come on, come on. Oop, a little bump there. That's fine. Oop, boop, get in there. Putting a ring on it. All right. Now we can take off these fuel tanks. Uh, but yeah, I I honestly, I don't know what I was so nervous about. I don't know. I just get nervous about meeting new people. Like, I'm pretty, I'm a pretty extroverted guy. Although we've talked about it, I'm like bad with, I mean, at least I think I'm bad with like these YouTube videos and stuff like that. Uh, but like, if you come to my live streams, you'll see I'm, I'm very, very outgoing. Like, I love talking to people. I love meeting new people. Um, as I've always described to people, I'm that kind of guy where, uh, I will be that guy at a party who just goes around and just talks to random strangers. And, um, you know, I feel like COVID has, you know, played a dampener in my, my social skills sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, not all the time, only sometimes. Um, why are we having a problem here? Can we, can we just, okay. Well, you know what? See if this works. Uh, okay. Oh, that was a little, little tap there. A little tap. All right, we're fine. Just a little tap. A little tap. But anyway, um, what should I call it? Okay, I already took care of that one. Actually, I took care of both of these. What if I just give you a little tap? A little tap. All right, you're dislodged. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited to tether it just to get it down there faster but anyway um so yeah i don't know what i was so worried about because they are both lovely lovely peoples uh they're they're very very smart they're doing great at the job better than i could even have hoped i oh god close better than i could even have hoped uh which is freaking awesome Are we clear to pull this piece off? We are. We are. All right. And I don't really have to worry too much now about fuel tanks. Although there might be a, a big reactor in that back there. I haven't, I haven't been able to, I, I've been kind of working. The way that I work a lot of these ships is like piece by piece. Oh, that might've been bad. Oh, that might be bad. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. You're okay, you're sort of all right. I'm just gonna be a nice little love tap that way. Nice, all right. <laughs> Man, we're doing so good. I'm excited to see this new training, but that'll have to be for next episode. Anyway, um, so yeah, new guys are, uh, the, the new peeps are great. They're, they're awesome, they're fantastic. They're doing great work. We actually have a meeting tomorrow uh, with our manager uh, to kind of uh, recap on our progress and how well we've been doing and things that we can work on and everything. So kind of excited for that because that's our first big meeting and we're actually getting access to some new... New... I'm missing something here. Oh, those rings are attached. Okay. I was like, why can't I just pull this all off? What the heck? But, uh, yes, we got a big meeting tomorrow for all of that. I'm really excited. Uh, also, I had a half day today. That I also forgot to mention. Uh, I had a half day today. Had to go take my car in because uh, it's been needing service. The service slate popped up. Um, service slate has been on for the past 40 days. <laughs> uh, only because, like, we don't do... What, what is happening here? Can I... Am I missing something here? This should be able just to slide on off. Get out of here. What is, what is happening? Wait a minute. Why is this not coming off? Is there a thing that I'm missing? There, there's nothing holding it. I don't know. Well, I got to cut this anyway.
Okay. Will you come off now? Or actually, can this cage just slide on off now? Let's see. Okay. That came right out. I'm thinking maybe it got like kind of like dislodged or something. That should just be able just to go right into the. Oh, you know, it's just really, really heavy. It's just really, really heavy. Yep. Yep, just a real heavy thingy. No problem. Space is a heavy place. <laughs> not, not really. It's not really like a heavy place. Ooh, there is a big reactor in there. I already see the coolant. I see the coolant box and uh, boy, oh boy, did I mess up already? That's going to be a big old reactor. We don't want that thing to, to, to break on up. Uh, you know, what? let's take care of the outside first. Let's do the outside because I saw some antennas. And I think also we were doing this ship because it does have some pieces, so we might have to go look around, but um, I am going to have to be quick with this reactor only because... Only because uh, I did not keep the power stuff again this time. Oopsie. Oopsie poopsie. Oh, wait, that means... Oh, man. I'm going to have to manually decouple the engine. I got to stop doing it. I think next time, if I do a big ship like this, and I think I said this in last episode or the episode before, I think I what I need to do... I think what I need to do is that I need to come over here, take care of the reactor first. And then we can start, like, doing the rest of the ship and everything. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and decouple this piece so we get a little bit more room. I got to get in there and get, like, under the reactor. And I'm going to need a little bit more of a clear way into where the coolant is. So I'll have to do that, too. But anyway, yeah, so I had a half day today. I had to take my car in for service. 40 days overdue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a lot of you are probably like, Chris, how could you wait on that? That's horrible. Well, we don't do a whole lot of driving because we were both working from home and everything. And, um, you know, Story just got a new job. Uh, so she drives to the office like three days a week. So I was like, uh, like, I'm going to have to go in and get this thing serviced. Like, I know the car is OK, but like, I got to go in and get this thing serviced. So I took it in, got it serviced and um, cost like. I think I just dropped like close to 250 today, sadly. Uh, but uh, what did need to be done? The tires needed to be realigned and um, uh, whatchamacallit, both filters for the engine and the cabin filter were both uh, gross. So the filters needed to be replaced. And then also they told me that there was a lot of leaves in there, which I know a lot of you are probably gonna be like, but Chris, you could have taken care of that yourself. Yes, but I was already there and they did give me like a little bit of a discount code too. But like, just do it for me. Oh, come on. I am low on O2. Is there any O2 just like chilling in here? Is that an O2 can? Nope, nothing. So yeah, so I had to drop like had to drop like two uh, close to 250 today on that so that was that was fun i i know computer i know i am trying my best F. oxygen thruster fuel all right there we go all right i only got about two minutes on this shift so let's see what what, what little stuff we can do maybe we can get this bay door off and then what I think we'll do is next time we'll finish this ship off and then we can start the training. I might need to do like a, uh, another double decker, another double, double feature, double feature, not decker, but a double feature episode, uh, in order to, uh, to do the training because last time, oh, my grapple was damaged. All right. Another goal. But, um, I really do enjoy this game. This is fun. 
I also I also found two games that I can potentially do uh as uh as another like vlog style type game I know power wash we've talked about I am blanking out on what the other game is but there was another game I was like oh that would be perfect for these episodes that I've been doing um I just need to try and remember what it was yeah. now's the time to plate it bring it to the table I'm going to have to get in here somehow. How the heck am I going to get into the hold? I think last time. Didn't we try last time through the engine cap? Let's let's experiment with this really quick before this shift is over. So I think last time we went in through the engine cap when I did this. Uh, here's trying new things and stuff. Oh! Oh, that is a bad tether. Come on. Yeah, we only got a few seconds left, but cancel the tether. Oh, that's the wrong button. All right. Can we? Um, we can't. All right, I'll have to figure that out next time. Because the, the, the best way to do those reactors is to, to kind of open up the hole and then do all the things and then just shoot it straight down into the uh, the barge below. Uh, let's see if there's anything cool that happens here. So, But anyway, that's been my life as of recently. New job going well. New co-workers. Really, really awesome. Spent like 250 on getting my car all tuned up. Stories. Enjoying her job. Oh, and uh, Indy's been doing great. Uh, Indy has had now two lessons as of this date. And uh, he's doing a really, really good job with his lessons. He's learning a lot. He's being a good boy. Uh, really, really proud of him. Uh, it's just going to, we just got to do repetition, repetition, repetition with his training. Um, so thanks. Thanks, Hab. Thank you for telling me 110%. Awesome. But anyway, I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Uh, like I said, next episode, we'll, we'll go, we'll finish up that ship, and then we'll do the breaker training, um, which seems kind of interesting and kind of cool. So pretty excited for that. But uh, anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying these vlogging gaming episodes as much as I am. I'm really having a blast doing these. So uh, let me know what you thought about this episode in the comments below. Did I do anything right? Are you enjoying the gameplay? You want me to do more episodes of this? Are you interested in me doing another game for this vlogging style? Let me know all of that in the comments below. Do all the things, like, comment, subscribe. Helps me out tremendously. Um, I think we're close to hitting 230 subscribers as of recording this so super super awesome having more people join the community so thank you for that and uh also like i mentioned earlier if you want to see me live doing things uh make sure to check me out over on twitch i stream every monday tuesday friday at 7 p.m est and on sundays at 2 p.m est so uh thank you again for watching hope everybody is doing well and uh until next time guys gals and pals bye bye <laughs>